Hey guys! <laughs> I knew you would take off like a shot. It's time for part two of my Sephora VIB 20% off sale haul. This is part two. Uh, I will link part one below if you missed it. Um, but yeah, I put in another order or two. And um, yeah, so all my stuff came. It was really, I think they got slammed. This stuff came a lot later than it usually does. It usually ships really, really quick. And uh, it didn't, so I know they were slammed. And they gave me uh, 500 points, uh, 500 points in my, you know, for their little perk program, which I appreciated. That was really cool. So let me get right into it and show you what I got. Um, oh, before I even start that, let me show you the one Mac purchase I have to show you. This came in yesterday, so I thought I'd show it to you in this haul as well. Mac has a new lipstick color. I think this is limited edition. It's uh, from that. I saw the movie Kinky Boots, I think it's on Broadway or something like that, and um, this is a matte lipstick called Kinky. So I went ahead and ordered this from Matte Cosmetics and it came and I wanted to swatch it for you. Um, I think the name is cute. It's just called Kinky and it's a matte. And I like their matte formula. The one I'm wearing now is Riri Woo and that's the retro formula, retro matte, and it's Oh my gosh, it's a lot harder to wear for me. But anyway, this is uh, the regular matte formula, and I like it. I like it a lot. So this is the color Kinky. Really pretty red. You know I love my red, so I thought I'd show you that. And now the rest of this is Sephora. Sephora, Sephora. All right, first I'll start off with something I didn't know they carried, uh, Lime Crime. And I had this lipstick before. And uh, I lost it. It is uh, Lime Crime. They have the cutest packaging ever. It's Centrifugia. They have a really nice range, of, different range of colors. It's, it's really different. Uh, Centrifugia is a beautiful color, so I got another one. And um, I don't know how long they've had Lime Crime. I just noticed and I was like, what? What? The what? So that's Centrifugia. You know that's right up my alley. Really, really pretty color. Um, I got two more things from uh, Lime Crime that I haven't tried before, and these are the uh, Velveteens. So these I was so excited about because they uh, dry matte, they're liquid matte lipsticks. So I got two colors. I wanted three, but I just got myself to pick two. Uh, the first one I'll show you is Pink Velvet. Oh, I can't wait to wear these. Pink Velvet. So that's what the shade looks like. Let me show you the tube, too. It's really, really cute. Ooh, that's got a smell to it. Woo! <laughs> so that is right there on top. Pink velvet. Really pretty. Ooh, can't wait to wear that. And the other shade that I got, I wanted the red, but I was like, gosh, you know what? You have a lot of matte reds. Yeah, I just showed you kinky, right? I sure do have a lot of matte reds. Uh, but this one is Utopia. Are my purple girls watching? Watch this. All right, this is Utopia. Whew, it's purple goodness. Purple goodness. Right there. Utopia. That is Utopia right there. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. Um, so those are the things I got uh, from the Lime Crime brand. Um, this is another lip gloss that I got, and I had this color in the old formulation. NARS reformulated their lip glosses, and I had a couple colors um, in the old formulation. I'm always telling you about Oasis. I ordered that because that isn't in the new formulation. O Oasis is an old color. Uh, but this color is in the old formulation and when I was cleaning up through my stash, I did that over like two months and you know did those intervention videos, I looked at my uh, Super Vixen and I like opened every lipstick, every lip gloss just to see if everything was copacetic because there were a couple lip glosses I had to throw away and this was one of them. It's a color called Super Vixen that I love from NARS. So I thought I'd get it in the new formulation. Um, so that's what the tube looks like. It's a really, really pretty color and I'll swatch it for you as well. Looks really, really nice on the lips. It's kind of like a almost a kind of a gold. It's kind of a barely there color, but it has that shimmer to it. And it oh, looks really, really good on the lips. One of those colors you can kind of just slap on and it looks great. So that's it right there on top and that's Super Vixen. So it's in the old formula as well as the new formula. Okay, this was a really, this is something I've wanted for six months and you know I like, a lot of you know I like the Becca um, highlighters and I have Topaz and I've used it for a while. I've had that one for a long time. So this is the, the Pressed uh, Shimmering Skin Perfector in Rose Gold. So excited to finally get this because as I said, I've been wanting this for literally months. 
So I'll give you a good look at it before I swatch it. Really, really pretty color. Rose gold. Oh, just go, just, just go, just. Oh, that looks good. Let me go back. One times, two times. <laughs> oh, I had to go back in twice. That is beautiful rose gold. That's going to be a great highlighter. Love that color. I made so much noise. I got you back in here, didn't I, Max? I made so much noise. Sorry about that. Um, the next thing I'll show you is from Becca as well. This is the Glow to Glow uh, the Shimmering Skin Perfector Highlights. Or spotlights, sorry. There are three in here, and I thought this was a pretty decent deal. So there are three uh, liquid shimmering skin perfectors in here, three different shades, and uh, I'll go ahead and swatch those for you as well really quick and uh, let you see what those look like on the skin. Um, let me just show you the packaging first. The packaging, these are what it looks like. So there's a decent amount in here, and I feel like this is like 25 bucks. Yeah, it says it on the packaging. It's 25 bucks. So I was like, I'm not mad at that price. I'll go ahead and check this out. Oh, they give you a little doe foot applicator. Okay, so there they are. Opal, gold, wait a minute. Opal, pearl, and champagne gold. Opal, pearl, and champagne gold. Wow, that champagne gold is doing something right there. Opal too. Not sure I'm going to have to use that opal, or excuse me, that pearl. Opal is on the top, pearl, and then champagne gold. Let me say it another time because I'm getting confused. But anyway, um, you just need a little bit of these and tap them on the uh, high points of your cheeks. I thought that would be fun to try. It's great to be able to try these because these are pretty pricey. I mean, that one highlighter, rose gold, was pretty darn pricey. So... It's nice to be able to try something like that, um, you know, in the little kind of minis. Um, this next thing I've always wanted to try. I couldn't really figure out which... None of the color combinations really spoke to me palette-wise for this brand. And I finally saw one that I liked, so I had it in there, you know, in my little loves area on the Sephora site to get when they had the sale. And it's Marc Jacobs Style Icon Number no. 7 Palette. And, oh, look at this. It comes in a little thingy. And I know what this looks like because I have swatched a bunch of them at the store at Sephora. Oh, wow. Look, you get not a clear little thingy. You get one that says Marc Jacobs. And here is the shadow lineup. I just thought this would be really, really nice, um, and these were colors I could get into, definitely. So I've never tried any of the Marc Jacobs. I'm wearing, this is my maiden voyage. I have on my Marc Jacobs Genius Gel for the first time today uh, since, what, <laughs> May? Uh, but yeah, this is its maiden voyage, but I've never tried any of the eyeshadows. So I have to do that, and I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to. I'm liking the pigmentation so far. Um, let me get these colors on my hand. All right, guys, so these are all the colors in the palette. So really pretty shimmers, nice mattes. I like that deep kind of brown. I think it's a dark brown. Um, really nice shadows. This is the lightest color, the kind of vanilla-y color uh, at the far end of the palette on the far left. So yeah, I am thinking I can do something with this lineup. So finally, I will get to try some Marc Jacobs eyeshadows. Really cool. Really cool. It's about time, right? Oh, by the way, that set of, uh, that palette from Marc Jacobs does have a name. It, I, it's number seven, but it says two, number 212, The Dreamer. So that's what it's called as well. If, if you're trying to, you know, check that out online, it's called The Dreamer. Um, so yeah, speaking of shadows, I uh, told you a while ago I have some more Makeup Forever trios to show you. And as I did before, I'm going to put the names of the, t the uh, colors on the bottom of the screen, and I will also put them in order down below in the description of this video. So this is the first trio I have to show you, and I'm in love with these guys. These shadows are so, these are like the most best pigmented shadows I've ever seen, like in life. Really, they are. It's amazing. They're very, very pricey. Um, definitely read the small print on Sephora's website uh, so you can get money off on a trio or a duo. Read that small print, make it happen because you know these you can save money. I saved twenty dollars off of each of these trios. So this first trio is uh, the first color is a beautiful shimmery green. Then there's like a matte brown and then there's like a goldish color. So that's the first trio here. So really, really pretty. 
oh, I can't tell you enough about these shadows. Really, really great. So that's the first trio to show. Um, and the next one, oh, I'm going to save my favorite for last. This second trio is kind of earthy for me, um, but there is some green here. Well, that's earthy. Green is earthy, right? Um, so yeah, this is what the trio looks like, and I'll, of course, swatch it for you. All right, there we go. We've got another really pretty green at the top and our, um, your far, the far part of the screen. Uh, then we have a brown and then we have a lighter color. In this one, the in this trio, uh, the green is the only kind of glimmery color. So really, really nice. I work with these. You know, I was thinking about what colors I wear the most. So that's why these last two are like, yeah, these are the colors. That's my comfort zone and the colors I like to wear, you know, kind of everyday colors. I do like a little bit of green in the in the mix and uh, the first one is darker but the other one is more of like a forest green so that's why I went with that all right let me show you my favorite trio this is the hardest one to get because the last color in the trio is always sold out or it was I mean I it's been sold out for a while I hope it's back in stock now but um, I waited and waited and I was just like, come on, get back in stock, please, please, please. And finally it was, I got the email alert that it was, so I hurried up and I ordered this trio just by itself. Um, so I'm going to show you this and look at the colors. This is the sparkly color and the other two colors are matte and this is eggplant. That's the one that's so freaking hard to, for them to keep in stock. But let me go ahead and swatch these for you. Really, really pretty, right? Okay, so that's the eggplant, the purple. Um, I feel like that's burgundy in the middle, but I'm not positive. Again, I'll have it at the bottom of the screen. That's a matte shade. And then the shimmer. I love this trio. Really, really pretty. I didn't mean to pout like I was punching you in the face with it. But yeah, that is my last makeup for forever trio. So I think I am good for a while, don't you? That's it for them. No more. And then I saw those Anastasia single shadows came out and I was like, no girl, you can't have any. You just can't. No, 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 no. Do you want me to get some? Tell me if you want me to get some. All right. So the last purchase is kind of embarrassing and uh, it's something that I returned <laughs> and I just want to give it another try because I have a friend that keeps making it work and she's making me mad she knows who she is hey girl and um I just want to try this palette again and I'm not I've already you know done a video uh with it hauled it and uh, told you I was returning it but I got it again it's the NARS Narcissist eyeshadow palette and um, I'm going to try to work with it again. And, you know, this happens very rarely for me because I don't usually buy things that I returned. But I'm going to try to work with it. And I'm going to be honest with you and tell you I'm going to try to work with it. Um, so you've probably seen this. This came out, like, what, April? Last April? And it's a ton of shadows from them. And I didn't really like the pigmentation, but I'm going to try to work with it again and see what I can make happen. That's my only excuse. I can, I'm just gonna try it. I do that. Rarely, but I do that. So yeah guys, I thought I would try that again and I thought I'd show you just to show that hey, sometimes I do go back to the well. I do. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. Thank you, have a great weekend and I will talk to you very, very soon. The videos have been rolling pretty frequently. Um, so we're gonna keep that going, right? I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.